You're talking to the wrestling t-shirt wearing, championship ring wearing, deal stealing, toy dealing, high wheel riding, dragonfly flying, son of a gun. And I'm having a hard time keeping these credit card bills down. Welcome to a flare for toys. It said uncultured heathen, it's your boy beef. We're here today with an unboxing. We doing Zoe Toys, Zoe Tots, Zoe Toes, Whiplash Mark II. Now you can get these off of Amazon and they're about, well I think this one might be 60 to 70. The rest of them are about 40 bucks. If you go to All Express, you can get them about half the price. Without further ado, -do, get the old man goggles on. But if you're an inbox collector, I suggest you pay up, get it from Amazon, because it's going to come all dinged up. But usually the figure is good. I love these boxes. You just flip this open and it stays shut like that, like a little almost magnetic thing, whatever. But here it is in the box. I've been wanting this one for a while. I got a few other ones, but this one, the War Machine was the main ones I was waiting on. Uh, now they do have a, a Venom, a Carnage. I think I may go back and get those. See how they are. So we're going to get this thing open maybe. Sometimes the tape down here at the bottom, but this one doesn't look like it is. So we'll take that cover off of that. And let's look at this big old chunky thing right here. Whiplash Mark II. Oh, there's the whips. So, not a lot to this one. Just the whips. We'll have to figure out where that goes. I think they pop in here. Uh, but we'll show the figure first. You're going to get some articulation out of this, but probably not much. That one's a little stiff. But yeah, some of that stuff gets in the way, which kind of makes it a hassle. But it does look real nice, real robotic. Uh, I've got an Iron Man to go with this one. I think I got the one that's like from the second Iron Man movie. I think that's the one I picked up. Where he had like the briefcase that had the suit in it or whatever. Now I'm just having a little trouble getting that in there. But we'll figure it out. Alright. I think we got it. Okay, we got that one. Let's see if we can't get the other one. Ah, wanna mess with me. certain way mm. don't help when you're blind guys but there's like a certain way to slip it in his hand gets in the way too Spend all day on this. Come on now. Another one went in just fine. His damn hand gets in the way. We might have to put this other one in later. Because it's being a pain in my ears. Ha! There we go. Got it. 
Uh oh. Lost a little piece somewhere. No, oh, they had it came off of there. Eh, we'll worry about that later. Not like it's a big deal. Alright. This thing's supposed to open somewhere. I think there's supposed to be a light in here or something. Somewhere. There we go. We got the lights on. Now, it does have a, like a USB port where you can put it. I'll cut off a little light. Maybe you can see it better. Now, my only issue with this is unless there's something I'm just not doing, I don't know why these wouldn't light up. And maybe they do. Maybe I'm just doing something wrong. I really didn't see no instructions in there. But it looks like a really cool piece. I had this one fighting the Iron Man or the War Machine or something. And then this just folds back down. You got a little piece back here that pulls up. It's got the USB port in there and stuff. So, I do like that. They got these LED lights and stuff. It just... It's, it's good, but I thought it would be a little heavier, but, I mean, it's not bad. Just, this thing right here gets in the way, so you can't really have a lot of leg mobility. But, aesthetically, a really nice figure. And I want to say this was, like, 36 bucks or something like that. Might have even been cheaper than that, I really don't remember. But, but blast. So, I'm cool with it. I like it. I really like the boxes that they come in. And I think these will look really nice up on the shelf. I'm going to try to start building out like an Iron Man shelf with them. Uh, got the war machine coming. We may get it next, but I think I might switch and try the, that Rocket Raccoon, the game verse one, to see how it is. But, and then we'll try to get the war machine next. So, we do have more of these to come. We'll be getting through with those, but it looks pretty cool. Y'all tell me what you think, whether you would get it, pass on it, leave it alone. Now, this company that makes these, like Zoto, Z-O, and there's like a lightning bolt in it, T-O-S, they do make some good figures. I've got a Deadpool figure from there. Now we got this. We got the Iron Man. We got the Wolverine. And like I said, I think they have a Venom and a Carnage. So we're going to try to get those maybe and see how they are. But I really do like that. That light effect always helps a little bit. So, all right, let's go ahead and cut it off. Just got a little button back there. You can shut it down. But like I said, like with that Hulkbuster, if the hands down here would have lit up, would have been better. But anyway, that's all we got for today. Thank y'all for watching. I'll show y'all the package again in case any of y'all go out there looking for it. Like I said, you can get these on Amazon. They're just a little more expensive, but your boxes won't be damaged like this, hopefully, from uh, All I Toys or All I Express. But you can get them from there. So your choice, your choice. But until then, I may be leaving. But I'm still that uncultured heathen.